Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we're going to be talking about Quote Center. Quote Center is one of Metastock's newest power tools. It's designed to help you be able to build and manage your lists, look at your data in an easy tabular format, open your charts and quickly work through your data to be able to quickly identify the best trading opportunity. With that, let's go ahead and go into Quote Center and take a look at what it can do. So Quote Center is our brand new tool designed to help you build and manage your lists. Beyond building and managing your lists, it also helps you be able to visualize your data. And that's one of the biggest things of Quote Center is visualizing, visualizing your data and working with your data. So I'm going to go ahead and skip right over into getting into Quote Center, showing you what's in there. And let's go ahead and move over into Metastock. So when I come into Metastock 17, You'll notice the power console as always. And what we've done here is we've added in two new buttons. So you've got quote center here, option scope here. The first one we're going to talk about again is quote center. So I just go ahead and click on the quote center tab. And you'll notice this is very similar to the other tabs in the power console where it gives you options for loading data. Well, what happens here, let's say that I wanted to load the S&P 100. You'll see I select that. And then over here, you actually get a whole list of all the symbols that are included in the S&P 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and open this list and then we'll come back here in a while and show you how you can use this same window to build custom lists. So let's go ahead and open up Quote Center. And you'll see this is loading up all your instruments and giving you a way to visualize your data. So let's go ahead and maximize this for just a moment here. And you can see here that we're looking at all the symbols in the S&P 100. You can see I have my symbol here, uh, symbol name here. Then we have tick, last, high, open, lows, low, close, and volume. Open interest is if I was looking at uh, a futures contract, for example. Now, I'm looking at this in Metastock RT, so I'm also going to see bid and ask. These are fields you wouldn't see in end-of-day data. It's only going to use this for real time. And then you can see net change and percent change. The other thing that you can see here is time. So this is the time the last tick came in. Now, because I'm looking at real time, it shows me tick. Because if you were looking at end of day, it would show the date of the data that you had loaded. So for example, if it was today's data, it would have today's date in there. Source, it shows online. Now, one thing that's great about Quote Center here is it actually works with data from all your different feeds. So you can use Zenith. Uh, as I'm using here, which is our real-time data feed, you can use DataLink, which is our end-of-day uh, data feed here at Metastock that you can use to feed both um, online or local data. And then if you're using local data, you can actually load in any file format. You can load in legacy, and you can load in MS local, or even CSV if you wanted to. So it can read all those file formats right into Quote Center. And then I can come in and I can rank on any of these. So example, if I wanted to see uh, what volume is the top volume today, I can just double click and it'll take me to the top volume security. Now, when I'm working with data, and one of the things people have been asking us for is something like Quote Center, where you can actually watch your data and then be able to open a chart. So if I double click here, this will open up a chart of Wells Fargo and I can go down my list let me actually expand this here. And I can go down through my list and I can open up all these securities by just double clicking. So it makes it very, very easy to get to your data, bring up your charts and work with your data. Now, let's say that I'm working with my list. Say you have your watch list here and you want to add securities to your watch list or do something like that. You can actually just come up here and let's say I wanted to add Deutsche Bank to my list. I could just type in the symbol and type add and it will bring me and it will add Deutsche Bank right in to your list. If you don't know the, sim, the symbol, you can just click our instrument search button and you can search for your instrument right here as well. Now, as you work with lists and you're building lists and doing your data, oftentimes you may say, hey, this is a security I like, I wanna keep it here. And you may say, this is one I don't want. I'm not trading this anymore in my portfolio. I need to get rid of it. So I can either just highlight it and then select delete selected instrument, 
or I can right click on one and choose delete there as well. So it makes it very easy to move your data around and work with your list. Now let's say I've opened up the S&P 100 here, I've made some changes. Now I want to save this as say my portfolio or my custom watch list or something like that. So up at the top here, you can see where it says quote center list one. So this is a list I just opened up, but now I can save it. So I can just say save as, and I can name it my demo list. We'll just call it demo list for today. We'll click save. And you'll see this is now called demo list rather than quote center list one. And what's great is as you build these custom lists, you can now just select between them. So if I had a different list open and I wanted to switch to demo list, I can just choose that list and work with it by just switching back and forth. You can also manage your different lists here and see all your different custom lists built in right there and choose those. So it makes it really easy to work with your data, be able to move back and forth. You can also change your theme. So if you don't like the dark color, you can change this to a dark orange theme where the words are orange, or you can go with a light theme. If you prefer that bright white, you can switch between those. Personally, I like the dark theme, so we'll leave it right there. So that's a quick way to work with your data. Now, Quote Center, being what it is, is actually great at building those lists, as I've started to show you. But to make it easier, we're just going to close Quote Center here for a second. We're going to close all these charts, and we'll go back to the Power Console. Now, we're back here in Quote Center. So before, excuse, in the Quote Center tab in the Power Console, before you even open up your, your list, you can actually work with it right here. So again, I have the S&P 100. Let's just say I, I don't like trading stocks with the letter A. Bad example, that's, probably, that's not a reason to trade a stock, but we'll just use that as an example. So I'm just going to highlight all those and I'm going to remove those instruments. And you can see that they disappear right there. So it takes them right out of the list. Okay, so you can see my count over here has gone down to 90. So I can do that with any instrument in here. And then once you have that all set, you can open up Quote Center and save that list again. So it makes it easy again. As you build lists, they come over here and they are in use existing list. So you can now just select whichever list you want to open, hit open Quote Center and bounce from there. So you don't have to go up here and check which one you want. It's just easy to select them from right here. So it's very easy to work with Quote Center, manage your data, open up charts, work with charts, work with your data, and get to where you want to be a lot faster. It will really improve your workflow and make life in Metastock easier for you. Okay, so that's a quick overview of Quote Center. So let's uh, just recap here. Uh, maybe see if there's anything I missed. So we talked about using online or local data. You can use either one in there. You can open charts directly from the Power Console as we talked about. Open any list from the Power Console. Now you can load up to 600 different symbols at once in here, which is awesome. So if you had more symbols listed, I'll just show you this really quick. You, you could come up here and you could tab between pages. There's about 200 per page, so you can just move between pages. I only have 100 symbols loaded, so that's why we're not seeing uh, that page work. So as you've seen in this video, there are a lot of different ways to use Quote Center. One of my favorite ways is to be able to load up a list from Quote Center, work with my charts, and quickly be able to just double click, go through each chart individually, and analyze my securities. I can also quickly build and manage my lists, such as a portfolio list, or a favorites list, or an exploration list, and go through those quickly and identify the trades that I want to work with. So I hope you have found this video informative, and I wish you successful trading.